Hey, what's up, guys? It's Tricks from um, Aurora Universe, and today I'm be showing you how to do the sweep effect, and uh, or it's like the I forgot what you call it, the sweep slash spline effect for a text. It's real easy, real simple, and it won't take long. But today I'm gonna show you how to make it on the floor, how to create it, and I'm also gonna show you how to use it for a video in your motion tracking. So, um, it's real easy, real simple, and on the video I posted up it I said that I'll make it today if I get a hundred likes and I have two hundred likes so that's a that's crazy so I guess I'm doing it for you right now so right now this one be showing you how to do it. okay guys since you saw how what we're gonna be learning now First, you want to do is you want to open Cinema 4D. Okay. Today, we have a special guest on our show. Um, it's the co-owner of Aurora Universe, Elias Tells. You, you can introduce yourself. Say what up, Tells. All right. That's Tells. Like I said, the co-owner. He's here with me to assist me. You know what I'm saying? All right. Let's get down to business. All right. First, you want to put down the text come here put the text all right um, you could change the font to whatever you want I'm gonna put mine to tricks and I'm gonna change it to ash all right so this is what we got now regular um to that when you render it out you won't see nothing okay after that you want to Go to the same place and put B spline. Mike, what does that B stands for again? Okay. <laughs> All right. After you do that, you just want to click behind the text, fan. And you want to click again and go up, not too far though. Okay. And this is good. All right, once you do that, you want to click the middle and make sure it's going down. Not too far, though, so that's good enough. After you do that, you want to go to the extrude nerves. Add the spline to the nerves. And you want to just rotate it up so it's going up like this. Okay. Okay, Mike. Okay. Now after that, you want to take the spline off and delete that uh, extrude. From here, you want to go to the same place and hit sweep nerves. Then you want to add the spline and then the text again. So this is what you got right now. This looks real cool, but you see how the bottom is messed up. So what we're going to do, we're going to minimize that. Hit the sweep nerves and we're going to play with the attributes real quick so first you want to uncheck banking and once you do that you're gonna have the text coming in and out like that well, a little cool okay after you do that you wanna you wanna make your rotation um, I'm gonna put mine to 100 and this is how your text look once you render it out, it's pretty good. Okay. So from here, if you want to make it go back and forth, you click start growth, and 100 is is zero, and it just comes out the less you make it. Okay. So from here, you got your text down and everything. So you want to add your floor. Go to the floor. 20 on the X and 20 on the Z. Right, Mike? The Z axis. Yes, I mean the Z axis. Same thing. Z for Z. Yes. Alright, you want to go to new material. 
click it. Hip floor texture. Um, Fresno. Click the thing twice. Change the black to a light color. I'm gonna change mine to a, a greenish. Mm -hmm. Yeah, some a basic color. <laughs> For Aurora. Okay. Then you wanna add a background. <laughs> and you add the text to the floor and add it to the background. Go to floor, right click, to number four D tags, compositing, and composite background. So when you render it out, it'll be an infinite floor. And the text is still there. Now you want to go to sweep nerves and you want this bottom to be on the floor. So you're just gonna hit um, the rotation tool, bring it up, and you want it to make it like it's going towards you. So move it like this. Move it down, 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 down. And make sure it's in the floor. Okay, it's in the floor now. So now I want the text coming to me like this. So this is how it looks. So when you change the start growth to 100, it's nothing. When you rent it out, it's nothing there. And when you come in, when you change it, it's coming out the floor. It's coming towards you. Bam, just like I did in the video. Alright. Alright, from here, what you do is um add a light. Uh, bring it up far from the um make sure you can see the text that's the only thing all right right there go to shadow shadow matte soft right mike soft not hard huh there he okay you want to change the type from omni to area once you render it out you see the shadow on the ground that's nice and you see the, the text. Now, what you do is to you go to uh, uh, your keyframe, go all the way to zero, change start growth to 100, go all the way to 90, and change it to zero. So when you render it out, it's coming out of the floor and in to how the text is supposed to look. Real easy, real simple. And when you render it out, this is how it looks. Um, I'm gonna put a put a material to it. Open up my content browser. It's loading and loading and loading. And it's here. Okay. I want to go to my presets right here and I got Enigma Hardcore Materials. I'll give you the link to um, his channel and his video if you want his materials. It's real good and all the credit goes to him for these materials. It's real good. And I'm going to use a metal. I'm trying to find a good one. I will go with metal three. Put it out. I'm gonna put it on the text. Right now, this is how it looks. It look real good. But if you want it on the front, what you do is check that out. You go to sweep nerves, hit the um click the uh material, go to projection, change it to flat. So you render it out, it's all the way around. So this is what we got. It coming in. You can see how it comes in into the ground. And it's coming out. Bam. Real easy. Real simple. Okay. Now since we got this done. We are gonna go into another way to make it. We are gonna add it to a motion tracking clip. For it to come out real good 
and you can use it for any one of your videos and okay let's get to it i'll see you then peace